Hi, my name is Luisa. I'm an English teacher and I will be your teacher today. So, today we're going to be talking about two verbs that people confuse all the time. The verbs are say and tell. What is the difference between them? In which situations do we use each? In which situations do we use say and in which situations do we use tell? We're going to discover that now, okay? Come with me. So, what are their meanings? Say and, and tell have similar meanings. They both mean to communicate verbally with someone. But we often use them differently. If you are a native speaker of Portuguese or Spanish, these words probably have only one translation and that's why you get confused. So what you need to know is how to use them, okay? Use is the key word here. <clears throat> so I'm going to give you a simple way to think about say and tell. You say something and you tell someone something. Okay, you say something and you tell someone something. This is a simple and general way to think about the difference between say and tell. This is not a, a rule, but I think it's going to help you. Okay, let's move on <clears throat> to see the difference between a sentence with say and a sentence with tell. You say something, for example, John said that he was tired. John said that he was tired. He said something, right? Now, you tell someone something. It's the same sentence, but now with the verb tell. John told Jane that he was tired. John told Jane that he was tired. He told someone something. Got it? With the verb say, you just say the thing. With the verb tell, you tell someone this thing. Got it? Let's see another example. Anthony says you have a new job. That's what he said. He said you have a new job, right? That's the thing that he said. But Anthony tells me, look, me, you have a new job. Anthony tells me you have a new job. Me is someone, yes, he told someone something. What did he tell me? He tell me that you have a new job. Got it? Let's see another example to make sure you get it. Tanya said, I love you. Okay, Tanya said, I love you. What did Tanya say? She said, I love you, right? I love you is the thing that Tanya said. Now, Tanya told John that she loved him. Tanya told John that she loved him. Who did she tell this thing? She told John. And what did she tell him? She told him that she loved him, right? Got it? You say something and you tell someone something. All right? Perfect. Now I'm going to show you some things that we cannot say or that we cannot do or that we cannot tell. Some things that we cannot uh, say or tell, okay? And I'm going to show you the correct forms. Ready? Okay. We cannot, we cannot, okay, we cannot, it's not correct, to say someone to do something. We cannot say someone to do something. Let's see the example. Tara said Joe to go away. 
Tara said Joe to go away. This is not possible. This is not correct. When you want to say, when you want to give uh, an instruction, you cannot use the verb to say. You have to use the verb to tell. So the correct form would be Tara told Joe to go away. Okay? Can you repeat that? Tara told Joe to go away. Good job! Okay, you cannot say someone something. Remember, you cannot say someone something. You tell someone something, but you cannot say someone something. Like this. This is a wrong example, okay? Not correct. Mary said me that she was hungry. This is not correct. Mary told me that she was hungry. Can you repeat that? Mary told me that she was hungry. Perfect. Very good. You cannot tell something. You cannot tell something. You say something. Remember from the beginning that we say something and we tell someone something? So you cannot tell something. He told that he likes coffee. This is not correct. He said that he likes coffee. This is the correct option, okay? Because you say something, you don't tell something. Got it? I hope so. You cannot tell to someone. You're never gonna use the preposition to with the verb tell, okay? You cannot say, Tom told to me that she was coming. This is totally wrong. You cannot say Tom told to me. You have to say Tom told me that she was coming. Tom told me. With the verb tell, we use uh, we don't use the preposition to. Okay? We use tell in the person. Directly after the verb tell, you put the person. Okay? It's usually a pronoun, right? Or what you can do is you can use the verb say and use the preposition to. Tom said to me that she was coming. Okay? You have two possibilities here. Tom said to me that he was coming. You can use uh, the preposition to with the verb say. All right? Okay, let's move on. We have more examples of things that we cannot do. You cannot say a lie. You cannot say a lie. Do you know what a lie is? It's uh, something that is not true. Yes, when you invent a story to someone, you are telling a lie. Okay, so we don't say a lie. We tell a lie. This example is wrong. Jack always says lies. This is wrong. The correct is Jack always tells lies. Hmm. Jack is a liar. He always tells lies. Okay? You cannot tell somebody in the direct speech. Except when you are giving instruction and information. Direct speech is when I speak directly to you or directly to the other person. Uh, indirect speech is when I speak to you and you give my message to another person. And when you give my message to another person, it's an indirect speech because I didn't speak directly to that person. Can you understand that? For example, here... This is the wrong example. John told Paul, let's turn on the TV. John is speaking directly to Paul, right? And because he is speaking directly to Paul, he cannot use the verb tell. We have to use the verb say. John said to Paul, let's turn on the TV. Okay, so... 
In a direct speech, you don't tell, you say. Except, there is an exception to this rule, when you're giving instructions or information. Yes, when you're giving instructions on how to do something or you're informing something. Okay, for example, John told Paul, turn on the TV. He's giving instructions. He's telling him what to do. John told Paul, turn off the light. Yes? Can you understand that? Or John told Paul, I was born in 1985. You are informing that something. John is informing that he was born in 1985. Got it? I hope so. Let's do some exercises to put them in practice to see if you really got it. Okay. Anthony two, 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 two. that he was hungry. Write down your answers. I'm going to give them to you in a minute, okay? Tara said me that you were ill or Tara told me that you were ill. What do you think is correct? Write down your answer. He says everybody that he is French. Or he tells everybody that he is French. Which is the correct form? Tells or says. Write down your answer. He told to me that he was angry or he said to me that he was angry. Which one is correct? He told to me or he said to me? Write down your answer. Don't cheat, okay? I want you to write down your answer. <laughs> the doctor said her or the doctor told her lie on the couch the doctor said her lie on the couch or the doctor told her lie on the couch write your answers please she said that's a great idea or she told that's a great idea which one is correct come on tick tock tick tock Okay, now let's check the answers. Anthony said that he was hungry. Said that you, he was hungry because he said something. Yes? Remember that with the verb say, we say something. Perfect. Tara told me that you were ill. Told me because we use tell with someone, tell someone something. So, me is someone and something is that you were ill. Got it? Okay. He tells everybody that he is French. He tells everybody that he is French. Tell why? Why are we using tell? You got it because everybody is someone and that he is French is something. So, tell someone something. Perfect. He said to me that he was hungry. He said to me that he was hungry. Why said to me? Because here we have the preposition to, right? And with the verb tell, we cannot use the preposition to. We cannot say tell to. Remember that? So say to me. Got it? Perfect. The doctor told her lie on the couch. The doctor told her lie on the couch. Why told her and not say? Because lie on the couch is an instruction. It's an order. He's telling her what to do. So when you are giving uh, instructions or information, you should use the verb tell, right? Perfect. And the last one, 
She said, that's a great idea. Why said? Because here we have a direct speech. Yes, he said, she said, and then we hear what she said. That's a great idea. Yes? I hope you understood this explanation and that you enjoyed this video. If you would like to practice more, you can go to our website and visit the activity sections. There you're going to find many activities and there's going to be one related to say versus tell. Okay? Also, if you would like more information about classes, we teach online classes via Skype or via Google Hangout. You can go to our website too and visit the languages section. There you're going to find a teacher and you're going to book your free demo class. Our website is www.elearningforall.org. We hope to see you there. Bye-bye. Thank you.